Ah, hi guys, welcome back, welcome back, it's been a minute guys, welcome back to another Hands On with Michael, today is July 23rd, 2023 guys, it's a beautiful Sunday, right here in Portland, Oregon, and guys, today we're going to have so much fun, but first, I'm going to wait for you guys to get in, to log in, um, I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me and that you can see me fine guys, uh, we're going to be doing this, li this candle live, so you know, it's going to be... A little bit of uh, bloopers, bleepers, whatever you call it, guys. But I'm so happy to be here with you. So, okay, so I'm looking forward to see the first person to log in. Yes, guys, today we're going to be using fragrance oils from Lark. Artisan Supply, they're based in Canada, guys. And I'm so happy with them, guys. I love the fragrance oils. But I'm going to wait for you guys. I have two people in. Hi, Ba. Hi, Mirna. Welcome. Welcome, ladies. Welcome to another beautiful hands on with Michael. Yeah, thank you guys. And tell, oh, uh, Bob, be careful. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, guys, you know what? Uh, I'm so excited with Lark, you know. I want to thank Val, you know, for uh, recommending them to me, you know. And I want to thank Carla for sending me these beautiful fragrance oils. And we're going to make, guys, we're going to be using two fragrance oils that I just fell in love, guys. But I want to wait for more, more, some more people to call uh, to log in, guys. So, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing like a split screen. Let me see if this works. Let's see. So I'm gonna be doing this split screen today, guys, because I want to show you how I make the candle, guys. So I'm gonna be using this beautiful uh, tin vessel from West Sun Candle Supply. This is a 16 ounce from West Sun Candle Supply, guys, and this comes with a beautiful lid. You know, and I'm so thrilled to have this to show you. I just want to show you something different. Let me show you on this camera. You know, and I love this. This is very heavy thing, you know, and this is going to make a beautiful candle, guys. Okay. So I'm going to wait for more people to log in, guys, before I start making the candle. And let me just put this away. So for these two beautiful uh, candles, guys, I'm going to be making... Uh, Oh, Lark is located on Victoria, that's British Columbia, uh, in Canada, you know, uh, yes, hi Whitney, welcome, yes, they, they are located on, um, on British Columbia, guys, uh, let me see if I have the information in here, hold on, no, I don't have it anymore, but if you, they are unbelievable, guys, all the fragrance oils that I did, and you saw my review that I made, guys, I'm very happy with all of them, so today I'm going to push them to a test, guys, I'm going to be using these two beautiful fragrance oils, uh, the first one is Casablanca and gonna be equal parts with black saffron, violet and black saffron guys. This combination guys is amazing. Oh my god, I just I was looking to make a I just wanted to make a different candle guys, so I used this, I put I was trying different fragrance strips guys and I just put into the two of them together and they complement each other so well. Why? Because I discovered, guys, they have similar notes, okay? So Casablanca has a top note of pink pepper, a lemon, bergamot, and grapefruit. And violet and black saffron has the top note of juniper berries, pomelo, and saffron, okay? So uh, for middle notes, the Casablanca has cinnamon, saffron, and paprika. And for uh, violet and black saffron, they have a core queer, queer, black violet and crystal rose. And and for the bottom nose, the Casablanca has suede, tobacco, and vetiver. And the other one has blonde wood, vetiver, and raspberry. So they have similar notes. That's why they complement each other so well. Uh, just do darn taxi. Welcome, welcome, Mia. Welcome, guys. I'm so excited guys, I'm going to be making a candle live with you, yes, okay, so let me read you a little bit about this, this, uh, hold on, the, the vessel that I'm going to be using guys, this one here, uh, is from, uh, it's called the large white metal vessel, uh, 16 ounce fill, okay, I'm going to give you the, the sizes, it's external vessel dimension with the lid, it's uh, 42 inches by 2 um 0.44 inches you know that's yes yeah, with the lid okay now the the internal dimensions for this is 4.4.4.56 4. 4. guys so uh in diameter so for that guys i'm gonna be using a triple cdn number two 
And why am I doing, why am I using the triple C in the number two? Because I don't know if you recall for what I used uh, the metal, the stainless steel one for this candle, uh, for my uh, Max, the tribute candle that I did a, a few videos, a, a few vi a videos back. And I used a, a, a weak configuration of triple C in the number two guys. And that gave me the beautiful, perfect result. Okay, so I'm gonna be using a triple wick using this. Okay, so I have in here. And I already went ahead and I put the uh, uh, the glue stickers on them, guys. So, so I can go ahead and with the candle, okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna show you the easiest way that I find, guys, to wick a candle. is um, I love using these dust covers from 1617. So it so happens that it's, this one almost fits perfectly in here. So I'm gonna be using this to guide me. I'm gonna be marking uh, dots in there to guide me where to place the the week so let me just show you so i have in here let me see can you see so i'm gonna i'm gonna draw three hole uh, three three dots let me just do it in here of camera okay so have it in there i make the three dots let me take this, let me take this off let me see, can you see the three dots in there that I marked? So that's where I'm going to be placing my, the wigs, guys. I think, just find this in here, I ordered from 1617. I mean, if you if you, you can go to any store that you can buy those covers of different sizes. This is a time saver. And this will also uh, give you the perfect wig placement, guys. So I'm going to be placing the wigs now for you. I already went ahead and I cleaned the, the vessel with alcohol, guys. So I don't have to do this on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to place them with the dust arm, okay? And I'm going to push them really hard. Yes! Okay. So guys, I want to give you an up. Uh, I want to tell you what happened yesterday. So, you know, my husband likes to do the peloton bike, you know, so he goes, uh, he likes to go back riding. Uh, so it so happens that yesterday he went back riding downtown Portland, you know, and it so happens that he had an accident. He fell from the bike. He he went through a, a, po um, a pool of mud, you know, and he slipped. And so I had to go pick him up. So I took him to the emergency room and so they took stitches on, on his uh, left eye. So he's okay, you know, uh, but... Guys, you have to be very careful when you go back riding because you think and all of a sudden, you know, you're like, oh, it's a beautiful day, blah, blah, blah. It could happen to anyone. Now, the reason why I'm telling you the story is because he was wearing his helmet and the helmet saved his life. You know, it, if it wasn't for the helmet because the head took the, uh, the blown impact, you know, and he was wearing sunglasses and that's why he got caught on, on above the eyebrow. But it really, like, saved his life, okay? Okay, yes, this is the large white metal vessel from West Ham Candle Supply. I'm gonna put all the, let me just show you here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all the details down on the description box guys for, for, from everything that I've been using. So you can just hit the link, you know, and, and just go uh, get, the, get the stuff. Yeah, he's okay, you know, he just, uh, he has a, a big bruise on his hip, you know, uh, but because he was wearing his helmet, he's okay. Okay, so guys, I have this in here. I bought this at Nordin, at Nordin Candle Supply. This is a custom-made wick holder that I have for my uh, for my candle line. So it, this is great, guys. You can all, you can either use this or you can use your uh, or you can use the uh, home. Uh, or you can use this. Okay, these are my. These are the wigs that I made with using two, two um, how do you call this? The stuff, the wooden, the wooden stick that you use to, to grill a chicken. So anyway, so I'm just gonna put this in here. Let me show you how easy this is. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it's, it's close enough to give me the accurate, uh, position for all of them okay so as you can see it's perfect in there okay 
Okay. So guys, for the wax, I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna give you the numbers. For the wax, I'm gonna be using number seven wax. You know I love that using that wax. I always get amazing results. So I'm gonna be using 14.4 14 .4 ounces of wax because this has a feel of uh, 16 ounces, okay, of wax and fragrance all together. So I'm gonna be using 14.4 uh, 14 .4 ounces of wax and 1.6 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? So I have in here, I already measured, this is uh, 1.6 ounces of fragrance oil, equal parts of the two fragrance oils that I told you, okay? I have it in here, already me measured for you. Okay, and the wax, I was heating up in the microwave. Let me see how, let me, let me see how, I, uh, how hot the wax is. Okay, the wax is at 186. I'm gonna put it for one more minute. Because I need it to be 220, okay? And hopefully the power will not go out. That's happened to me with this microwave before. So I'm praying to go, please, please, please let it warm up without, because if the power goes out, I have to go into the garage and reset the power. Yes. Sometimes this doesn't hold as well, you know, but you know, it's, I mean, it works, it works. So whatever you have in hand, guys, a time saver, it's, it, it works uh, perfect, perfect, to perfection. Okay, so let's see. So I'm waiting for the, for the wax to come to heat, guys, and, okay, so, guys, it's amazing when you put these two together. It's like one elevates the other, you know, and that's what I like. I like to have a, a fragrance oil. Hold on. Let's see how warm this is. Okay, it's 216. Perfect. So I'm going to take it out. And remember, guys, you always need to use... I will not open the door because this is very hot. Hi, English Garden, welcome. So for those of you guys who join me, I'm making a candle using two fragrance oils from Lark. Lark Artisan Supply, they're uh, located in uh, Victoria, BC, that's British Columbia in Canada. Okay, so here is the, the wax. It's 216 degrees. Now it's 210, so I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. Again, this is equal parts, black saffron and, no, black pirate and saffron, and Casablanca, okay? Equal parts, these are beautiful oils, guys. These are amazing. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna stir this for 20 seconds. And I'm gonna wait for this to come down to temperature. Hi, Matt Moss. Welcome, darling. So I'm going to sit there for 20 seconds, and I'm going to wait for this to come between 180 and 185. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Please ask me anything you want. Okay, it's 198. So I'm going to wait. Oh, my God. I hope you're all having a great day. Yeah, it's a beautiful... The weather is beautiful, guys. I know that a lot of the, uh, most of the country are going through a heat wave. Thank goodness in Portland, it hasn't hit it yet, you know, um, because I hate the heat. At night, there's nothing more that I hate than going to sleep uh, when it's very hot. Okay, so let's see how hot this is now. One ninety-five. So ten more degrees. English Garden, tell us what's new with you. I haven't seen you in a minute. I hope you're having a good summer. Okay, so let me just put this away because we're finished with that. I'm gonna put a candle in here and then I'm gonna put this to the side. Again, I'm using a double CDN number number two for the, uh, to wick this candle, I mean a triple CDN number two. Put a candle. Let me see. Let me see if I can just. 
I'm gonna move this to the side so you can see better. I'm gonna move the camera to the side so you can see better. Okay. Oh yes, you're in Southern California, yes. Uh, do you guys have a lot of fires over there now? There's a big fire in Oregon, but you know, it's... Oh yes, and Louisiana too. So guys, so my husband and I are going to Hawaii uh, you know, on August 8th, we're going for a week, hopefully, you know. Um, also, I'm going to Puerto Rico. I'm going to Puerto. Rico. I'm so excited. I'm gonna see my family. I'm going. I'm going to Puerto Rico on October seventh. Oh my English! You fractured your foot, so I have been laying for love. For, for, okay. Shower, shower steamers. Oh my God! How is that? Yes, I'm gonna go see. My, I'm gonna be staying with my brother. I was. I was thinking about staying with my brother, guys, but you know, and his wife. Uh, so I call him and I, and I ask him, can, I, can we stay at your apartment? Can I stay because I'm going by myself? So he says, sure. But then I was thinking about it better, guys. I hate to stay in people's houses, even if it's family. I like to have my own space, my privacy, you know, and I, I want to feel free. Um... Uh, to open the refrigerator, I want to feel free to go, come and go as I want. So I'm staying, I'm staying with, I'm staying with them for two days, and then I rented a studio apartment uh, at the Hyatt Hotel. So because there's no way I'm gonna be spending the whole week with my brother, you know, because you know how tensions can run very, very, very high. Okay, so let's see how warm this is. Okay, so guys, time to pour. It's 181. Okay, come on, beautiful. And I'm calling this a lark candle. Okay, guys, you notice that I haven't been doing uh, candle of the week anymore. It's just that I'm not inspired, you know. And if I'm not inspired, you know, I'm not gonna just put a video just just to make a video, you know. It's like for me, I'm gonna try to make a video one one video a week, you know. Uh, but if I just wanna have I just want to have good content to give you guys and I just don't want to make a video just to make a video you know okay time to pour yes come on beautiful come on okay I'm telling you guys, 16 ounces is the perfect amount. Okay, so let me just put a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol to melt the extra wax I think here because I'm not gonna wash it now. So I just wanna put some alcohol in here so I can just put some pepper towel so it, it could absorb any wax that's still in there, you know, without, so that way it, it won't go down the drain on my sink. So, okay, so let me just do this really fast and I'm just gonna put it to the side. And here's a beautiful candle. Oh, oof, it's very hot. I have to be careful. Very hot. Okay, so, and these are the fragrance oils. Success, success, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, this went really fast. It, went, it, it was really nice. I'm gonna be staying Okay, so Marina wants uh, a really a beach scent, okay? You know, have you tried this one? Uh, wood, sage, and sea salt. I think this is makes. It makes such a unique and different beach scent. Let me just... Let me just smell it for you. I 
I think this will make a very nice beach scent, but you need to mix it with something else. Uh, I think, to me, personally, I think Candle Science, I love a sea salt and orchid also. To me, that's a true oceanic uh, scent, you know. I also like the ones from Scent Memory Fragrance, you know. Uh, they have a few of them that I love also. But I think uh, this one is good, but you have to mix this with something else. You know, it all depends on what you like, you know, because for some people a nice peach scent is, like for me, sea salt, with or sea salt and orchid and black sea makes an amazing combination also from Candle Science. So try those two together, you know, and yeah, you know, you just have to play with different, uh, different, uh, how do you call it, fragrance oils and combine them, you know, sometimes you can use uh, one, one part, play with the ratios, you know, like three parts of sea salt with orchid and one part Black Sea, you know, like, uh, yeah, that's my recommendation. Oh my God, so beautiful, the candle. Guys, I also wanted to share with you something, you know, uh, I lost 10 pounds in a month and a half. Uh, I lost all the way, I lost all my visceral fat. You know what I'm doing, guys? I'm doing every morning and, and every night, I take one lemon in the morning and I put it in the microwave for 15 seconds and I warm it up and I put it in a glass and I take three tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar on filter and I mix it together and then I put like a, almost like a cup of water and I mix it all together, warm water and I drink it first thing in the morning guys and then wait half an hour and then have breakfast. And I've been doing the same thing at night. Uh, I do the same thing, I take the juice of one lemon and with the three tablespoons of apple cider, apple cider vinegar and water. And that's the last thing that I drink at night. Nothing else, guys. And you go to sleep in the morning, guys. You could, I'm telling you guys, if you, if you do this for a couple of weeks, you're gonna notice a huge difference. Uh, you know, you're gonna notice that you have, you get up with much more energy. Uh, you, you, uh, your skin glows. It's, it makes you feel so, you feel so healthy and you know, and you're gonna notice on your body, okay? So try that for you. Okay. Okay, yes, yes, that's most. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Okay guys, any questions? If not, I'm gonna end up the, the live streaming here, guys. I just have so much fun. I wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, for those of you that uh, check out my uh, my luck uh, scent review guys so you can see the other scents that I review for them guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys and also share my link my share my channel with all your friends and family if you can guys and check out my my website guys so you can purchase all my beautiful candles on oh, by the way guys my new sizes are up on my website so if you go to my website candleromance.shop you're gonna be able to see the new pictures that I took you guys and they're there I updated them in the website and you are gonna love them. They are much cheaper. The smallest size, they're $45, guys, but they're worth every single penny, okay, guys? Okay, guys, so have a wonderful Sunday. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for coming. Yeah! Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful week. Bless you. Yes!